In JavaScript, you can join two or more strings together to create a new string. This process is called string concatenation. You can concatenate strings using the plus operator. I've gone ahead and defined two variables called string1 and string2 with a value of hello and world as strings respectively. Now let's say I want to create a third variable which has both of these strings joined together. It's actually pretty simple. Let's first create a variable called greetings. Now let's set it to string1 plus string2. This process is called string concatenation. Let's now console log to see what we get. Indeed, we get hello world in the console, but you'll notice they have no space in between them. We can fix that by concatenating yet another string. This is going to be a string with just space. And if I save it, you'll see we get hello world with a space. I want to now cover something called template literals. Back when I first explained strings, I mentioned that they could only be defined using single quotes and double quotes. However, there's actually another way of doing that using backticks. This key is on top of your tab key on the keyboard. Now you may wonder why do we need this when you can just define strings using double quotes and single quotes? Well, template literals allow us to create strings with embedded expressions and multiple lines. Let's take a look at the following code. We have a variable called name and it is set to John. We have another variable called age set to 30 and we have another variable called message set to my name is plus name and I am plus age years old. This is string concatenation and we just covered that. However, there's an easier way of doing this instead of constantly using the plus operator. We can change this to use template literals so we can use two backticks and inside we can write my name is now to write the name of the variable, type a dollar sign and open curly brackets. Inside, you can write the name of the variable called name and I am, and we can open it again and say age years old. This code does the same thing as this code up here, except it is much more readable and a lot easier to work with. Another thing about template literals is you can use line breaks inside of these. So I can add line breaks in random places and I can console log this to see what we get. And inside the console, we have line breaks as well. 